Hello friends, uh, this is uh, PGDIMS final punch what I am reading it covers around 2002-2500 one liners. Uh, this uh, uh, PDF is shared in uh, two or three WhatsApp groups so everyone uh, has that. So I am taking the liberty of reading it but the credit uh, will go to PGDIMS. So I am just reading out the material which is there in um, a common group okay so just be with me so that you can cover around 2000 to 2500 bits i'll post in the series of 100 uh, one-liners in each video okay so increased iga deposits are seen in henoshalin purpura gene inhibiting apoptosis is bcl2 firm warty vegetations along with the line of closure of walls is due to rheumatic heart disease characteristic feature of rheumatic carditis is pancarditis in leprosy, most common renal lesion seen is MPG and that is membranoproliferative glomerular nephritis in leprosy. Most common type of Hodgkin's lymphoma in India is mixed cellularity. Just remember, India is uh, a country of mixed cultures. So, you can just remember the same MC. So, most common in India is mixed cellularity. Most common variety of Hodgkin's lymphoma is generally in the worldwide is nodular sclerosis. Lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin's lymphoma has got the best prognosis. The most common carcinoma of breast is intraductal carcinoma. The commonly employed stain for amyloidosis Congo red with polarized light. Clara cells are seen in bronchiole. Results body is found in plasma cell. Most common benign tumor of liver is hemangioma. Crew cut hair. Uh, crew haircut appearance in x-ray skull and gamma gandhi bodies are seen in sickle cell anemia and thalassemia so gamma gandhi bodies and crew haircut appearance of x-ray uh, skull is seen in both thalassemia and sickle cell anemia father of modern pathology is rudolf virchow so rudolf virchow is father of modern pathology and most common uh, cause of spontaneous pneumothorax is rupture of subpleural blebs involucrum is a new living bone and sequestrum is a dead piece of bone most common cause of intracerebral bleeding is hypertension ratio of beta to alpha cells of islets of langerhans is 2 is to 1 in newborn and 4 is to 1 in adults so just remember it's not alpha is to beta it is given beta is to alpha beta is to alpha is 2 is to 1 in newborn and 4 is to 1 in adults so always beta is greater than alpha in cloudy swelling there is an accumulation of water intracellularly broke's tumor is a tumor of hair follicles just remember broke's tumor is a hair, uh, hair follicle tumor okay fuel gun reaction test for dna target fibers are seen in motor neuron disease in iota commonest site of affection of syphilis is ascending iota lepra cells is a histiocyte just remember lepra cell is a histiocyte okay and uh, in syphilis it affects ascending iota is affected weeble palate bodies are storage organelle for von willebrand's factor so weeble palate bodies are storage organ for von willebrand factor in diabetes mellitus, the characteristic kidney changes are nodular sclerosis, that is, Kimmelstein Wilson region is seen in diabetes. Commonest germ uh, tumor is teratoma. Worm which causes myocarditis is trichinella. So, trichinella causes myocarditis. Thyroglossosis may arise, uh, may rise to papillary carcinoma. So, thyroglossal may give rise to papillary carcinoma okay not medullary just remember thyroglossal cyst can give rise to papillary carcinoma most common carcinoma of thyroid is papillary carcinoma again diagnosis of DIC is confirmed by the demonstration of fibrin degradation products in serum okay hypoxia is the most common cause of cellular injury one of the most common and earliest manifestation of ischemic injury is acute cellular swelling due to pump failure Susceptibility to ischemia, first neurons, sorry, least is neurons, uh, first is skeletal muscle, then myocardium, then neurons. So, uh, ischemia most susceptible is skeletal muscle. Next comes myocardium and next comes neurons. 
dystrophic calcification and metastatic calcification difference Distro dystrophic calcification occurs in previously damaged tissue with normal levels of calcium dystrophy is uh, you just remember this is destruction of the tissue so this is the tissue is destructed but calcium is normal metastatic calcification occurs in normal tissue but the serum level is serum calcium level is raised so metastasis is multiplication of the uh, cells or whatever so here you just remember calcium is increased calcium is multiplied something like that so dystrophic is the tissues damage metastatic is the calcium is increased chemical stimulation lesion of glomerulo glomerulus is found in long standing diabetic um, diabetes mellitus that is extracellular higher in degeneration so chemical stimulation lesion of the diabetes is uh, due to extracellular hyaline degeneration. Jenkins degeneration is a type of intraepithelial hyaline change that occurs specifically in striated muscle. So Jenkins de uh, degeneration that we see in uh, striated muscle is a intracellular intraepithelial hyaline change. So nuclear changes are pycnosis, karyorexis, karyolysis and disappearance of stainable nuclei. Caseous necrosis is a combination of coagulation and liquefaction necrosis. When coagulation pattern is dominant, the process is called DR, dry gangrene. So when coagulation pattern is dominant, it is called dry gangrene and when liquefaction pattern is dominant, it is called as wet gangrene. So, <coughs> so caseous is combination of liquefaction and coagulation when uh, uh, dry uh, coagulation pattern is dominant we call dry gangrene when liquefaction pa pattern is dominant we call wet gangrene histamine is the principal mediator of immediate phase of inflammation richest source is mast cell okay so immediate phase of uh, inflammation principal mediator is histamine and it uh, comes from mast cells most critical step for function of complements is activation of complement c3 amount of complement c3 and c5 are most important Inflammatory mediators. Mediators involved in vasodilatation are histamines, anaphylactoxins, uh, prostaglandins, and nitric oxide. The most useful in the context of acute illness is C reactive protein that is synthesized in the liver and it is often used as an index of severity of the illness. Granulation tissue is highly vascularized connective tissue. Causes of edema are increased permeability of the capillary wall, decreased colloid oncotic pressure of plasma, increased hydrostatic hydrostatic pressure and sodium retention lymphatic obstruction chronic passive congestion of lungs seen in congestive heart failure and the heart failure cells are seen these are hemosiderin laden macrophages okay in cro chronic passive congestion of lungs that is um, uh, heart failure uh, cells are seen in lungs okay just remember heart failure cells are seen in lungs not liver and these are hemosiderin laden macrophages Causes of thrombosis are mainly vitreous triad. Vitreous triad is uh, endothelial damage, um, increase in coagulability, and change in the blood flow. As about 99% of emboli arise in thrombi. Paradoxical emboli implies a condition in which a right sided thrombus enters the left side of the heart via septal defect or abnormal communication leading to. Embolism. So generally a thrombus enters from left to right but here in paradoxical embolism it enters from right to left through septal defect. Most 95% of pulmonary emboli arise in deep veins of cough and 70% of pulmonary emboli are asymptomatic. Kaysen's disease is actually chronic form of decompression sickness. So Kaysen's disease is uh, a form of decompression sickness. Okay, About 99... So about 99% of infarcts are due to thromboembolism. White infarcts occur due to arterial obstructions that is in kidney, heart and spleen. Red infarcts occur due to venous occlusion found in loose tissues like lung, brain, gut and liver. So uh, this is opposite you just remember red infarcts does not occur in uh, red blood. So, it is opposite. Red infarcts occurs in, occurs in veins, okay, venous occlusion and are found in loose tissues like lung, liver and brain, gut. White infarcts are due to arterial obstruction. They occur in kidney, myocardium and spleen. Shock is a condition of generalized hypoperfusion of tissue due to decrease in cardiac output 
decrease in blood volume and redistribution of the blood malignant tumor arising from epithelium is called carcinoma and arising from mesenchyme is called sarcoma the ras oncogen is the best example of activation of point mutations just remember the points when we are reading they look simple but in between the simple points the um, uh, repeatedly asked questions and complex bits are covered so just follow this uh, 2000 points and you will get the overall idea of all subjects so kidney is the most common uh, I read about RAS oncogen. RAS oncogen is the best example of activation of point mutations. Just remember RAS onco oncogen is for point mutations. Most useful stain for amyloid is Congo red stain which gives apple green by refrigerants under polarized light. So amyloid, Congo red by uh, apple green by refrigerants and polarized light. Kidney is the most common organ to be affected by amyloidosis. Okay, which is a most common organ for uh, by amyloidosis is kidney. In liver, the deposition of amyloid occurs in space of DC. The skin, in skin, the deposition of amyloid occurs in periarterial space. So, skin it is periarterial space, and in liver it is space of DC. Best biopsy site is the in the diagnosis of amyloid is rectal mucosa. So, just remember when a person has amyloidosis, where you have to take biopsy it is rectal mucosa okay hemochromatosis is usually uh, presents as a bronze diabetes as it is associated with bronze discoloration of skin diabetes mellitus and cirrhosis Hypo hypogonadism is an important feature so hemochromatosis is nothing but a bronze diabetes it occurs in, uh, due to bronze uh, discoloration of skin and hemocytin deposition uh, sorry hemo uh, and it, it has hypogonadism in liver, hemocytin is deposited mainly in cytoplasm of Kupfer cells and uh, hepatocytes. So, hemocytin is deposited in liver in Kupfer cells and hepatocytes. Alpha interferon leukocyte, beta interferon fibroblast, and gamma interferon uh, lymphocytes. Okay, I think uh, uh, these play an important role in uh, particular cells. Alpha interferon in leukocytes, beta interferon in fibroblast and uh, gamma interferon in lymphocyte so somehow we have to remember the association okay so alpha in leukocytes beta in fibroblast and gamma in lymphocyte uh, viscot aldrich syndrome is immunodeficiency state with thrombocytopenia recurrent infections and eczema So, Viscott Allred syndrome is immunodeficiency state with thrombocytopenia, recurrent infections, and eczema. Polymorphism is multiple allelic form of single gene, but penetrance is a percentage of individuals carrying the autosomal dominant gene and expressing the type. The given difference between polymorphism and penetrance. Polymorphism is multiple allelic form of single gene. And penetrance is a percentage of individuals carrying an autosomal dominant gene and expressing the uh, trait. So, percentage of uh, people is penetrance and uh, here polymorphism is multiple allelic form of single gene. In lysosomal disease, all are autosomal recessive except Hunter's disease. Hunter's is an X-linked disease. So, just remember lysosomal disease, all are um, X-linked, uh, uh, all are autosomal recessive except uh, uh, hunters which is X-linked recessive. So, just remember lysosomal disease all are autosomal recessive except hunters X-linked recessive. Tay-Sachs disease is due to deficiency of hexosaminidase which leads to accumulation of uh, GM that is um, GM2 ganglioside in neurons of CNS autonomic nervous system and retina. So, Tay-Sachs disease is due to deficiency of hexosaminidase. Okay. Uh, and uh, See, just remember hexosaminidase, hexa. Oh, so, hexa is 6. So, hey, tay sachs, sachs 6. Somehow, just relate it. So, tay sachs is the deficiency of hexosaminidase, which leads to accumulation of GM2 ganglioides in autonomic nervous system of brain. Neiman Pick's disease is due to deficiency of spring, sphingomyelinase. Only in type A and type B. In type C, defect is in intracellular esterification of cholesterol. So, just remember, sphingomyelinase, if they just ask Neiman Pick's disease, you have to answer a sphingomyelinase deficiency. 
but if they are type C, it is due to defect in intracellular esterification of cholesterol. Only type A and type B are due to sphingomyelinus deficiency. Commonest tumor to metastasis to heart is lung carcinoma. Okay. Endocarditis officially is called Lippmann Sachs endocarditis. Important feature is either um, side of the wall is involved. So, um, endocarditis of uh, SLE is uh, Lippmann Sachs endocarditis. It is the wall will involvement on, on the either side and um, commonest is rheumatoid card rheumatic carditis in uh, heart is um, i mean it's a type of pancarditis you should remember that okay so i'll wind up 100 bits are over and i'll just cover it in the cover the rest in the next video thank you